Hello everyone. In this video I will explain authentication to Kiala interface with ours 2 protocol. Like as previous videos, we have integration between Active Directory and Cakewalk with the User Federation and all users from Active Directory we have to log in to any of application in case of Grafana or Python app and today we will use Kiala 2. So, topology is nearly the same, I will not stay here a long time, I will switch to the configuration part. So, I have used Kiala operator to deploy it inside of my Kubernetes cluster in my laptop. And the important part of configuration I want to say is issue URL, scopes, username, claim. And by default, Kiala looks to the secret name Kiala inside of the system namespace where it is deployed. And it is client ID which I have configured with my cake clock interface and client secret value which I got from there. Of course, all this manifest will be present in the repository GitHub, you can get it from there. I have used Kiala operator, but at the same time you can use deployment with pure config map to get it from there, even configuration present here. You can get it, of course. So, important part which I want to show you, it is configuration of Kiala OAuths. Uh, clients, uh, I, I mean, inside of Keyclock, sorry. It is Kiala OAuth, which I have shown you inside of Kiala Kind 2 in manifest, I mean. The name of client ID is Kiala OAuth. And client secret value I got from credentials, which I showed before. Nothing more I have configured here. It's actually default configurations of each client, if you will do this. And if I will do New incognito window to log into Kiala example local. It will forward to authenticate with some Active Directory user. As we see, I have already logged in with Active Directory username, which Kiala redirected to authenticate user from Keyclock and at the same time Keyclock returned back which already integrated with Active Directory this username and do that we can log into Kiala interface. That's it actually. I hope it will be useful. 